I'm Jeff Raymond and today we're going to actually be cooking our rum and pineapples. This is a de great dessert, easy to make and uh, I hope you enjoy it. So let's get busy. We're going to cut the crown off and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in about one inch pieces about like that right there. So what I'm going to do is cut it straight down, try to keep it as straight as possible. Go all the way down. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to cut the skin off of it, which is the outside. So we're going to take this here. And we're going to go around. Now I could use a core if you want to, you can, but you'll lose some of the pineapple. And we're going to cut this center piece out. all these out okay what we're gonna do now we got our pineapple cord and we peeled the skin off we got them cut in these rings like this I like to grill them like this because they don't fall through the cooking grid I used to cut them in chunks but I do that later so uh, and then I toothpick them and then put them in a bowl or on a plate and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add my pineapple into this bag and then I'm gonna take my brown sugar which is a cup and a half I use for every one whole pineapple. I use about a cup to a cup and a half, usually a cup and a half. And then I got about three ounces of dark rum here. And I'm just going to pour this dark rum. If you want to use a little less, you could do two ounces if you want. And so we're going to set this here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to zip this up. I'm going to move it around a little bit. And then it's going to start to marinate. And as the juice comes out of the pineapple, mixes with the rum and also mixes with the uh, brown sugar, it'll actually become a, a brown liquid, which will set and marinate. And I like to let that marinate for about probably two to three hours. And you can set it on a counter if you want or put it, I, I wouldn't put it in the fridge. I'd keep it at least room temperature. It seems to do better uh, and dissolve better. And then what I want to do is I want to get my grill around 350 to 400 degrees. Okay, we got our grill up to temperature. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this cooking grid out. And what I'm gonna do is spray it with this new uh, spray. It's a non-stick grill spray. You can actually spray this on a hot cooking grid. And it keeps everything from sticking. That's, I've done tenderloins, I've done ribs. I've used this a lot since they come out with this. So I'm gonna set this back in there. Okay, we've got our grill temp. We just sprayed the cooking grid. You can see that the pineapples are marinated. Now we're going to take them out and place them on the cooking grid. I'm also using one of the new pans that Big Green Egg come out with to set on the convector. That keeps it clean, especially when you're cooking these things. So it's a really good dessert, but they are a little messy. So definitely get these pans drain a little bit and there we go so now we're gonna let those cook for about probably five to seven minutes and I'll flip them and let them go five to seven more okay these have been cooking about seven minutes or so uh, we're gonna go ahead and flip these we'll let them start to caramelize on this side too and they should be done after that Okay, we're going to take our pineapple off, place them on the plate. You see they got some caramelization to them. It's when they're the best. And that's our rum pineapples. 